So hello my friends, Devon Lennox here, Photography PX. In today's video, we're gonna kind of pick up where we left off in the previous video, and we're gonna continue uh, me showing you my culling workflow uh, from start to finish. All right, so here we are back in Capture One. If you haven't seen the first video, I would definitely encourage you starting over there, maybe just kind of skipping through, um, kind of get some nuggets and things of that nature, looking at the images um, and things of that nature and just understanding uh, how we got to this point. We're about halfway through the culling workflow right now. Um, again, culling means to basically refine a selection uh, to basically narrow down a selection of images. It's a photography term uh, that basically means that. So I have some coffee, this is gonna be a longer longer process, so we are coffeeed up. And uh, here we are, so let's pick up where we are right now. Okay, so we left off at that pose right there, and we're gonna start right here. Um, oh, I love that one, that one's great. Again, like I was saying before in the last, in the last segment, it's just like, you know, that, that relaxed mouth, it just, and the eye squint, it's just, not everyone can do that, first and foremost. You know, after shooting a lot of people, I mean, I've shot two, 300 people in the last year and a half, um, you know, I've shot a lot of people, but not everyone can do that. Some people are better at that than others. Some people, they don't have enough experience, but that, those moments right there, when you capture those moments, they make or break images. Um, you, it's so subtle, you know, just the, the, the mouth and, and the eye squint there makes a huge difference. I mean, I don't know if you guys can notice the difference there, but uh, yeah, it's, it's so subtle. It's just a slight squint of the eyes and just relax the mouth, like boom, there we are. Yeah, it just makes a huge difference. So um, definitely starring that one, this one right here. And uh, let's continue moving along. Uh, that one's okay. Kind of keep on going, add some flowers. Uh, these are taken from a previous shoot. Definitely re reuse your props if you're not using now. Didn't, don't always just return them back to uh, Michaels or Hobby Lobby, don't be that guy. I'm always that guy, <laughs> but I keep some of them. So that's, that's what's up. Um, this one's okay, I like that one. Uh, huh, huh, huh. Those are all right. Let's see. I particularly love those ones. No, not loving those. I like how I frame that one. Yeah, I would say maybe on this one. Kind of like the, I would have to crop it a little bit, but yeah, I like the framing on that one. The symmetry. Okay, we're into the third and final look. So this, uh, with this, this is, this is a geisha theme look if you're a little bit confused as to what we're doing with the makeup and all this stuff, um, but yes. Hmm, I'm gonna go back over here. Maybe this one. Hmm. No. My fans are going ham on my computer, so apologize for the fan music. Maybe. I'm just waiting for it. Yeah, I'm looking for that image. We definitely got it, but uh, haven't seen it yet. That one's okay. Again, this one, I'm I, like, like I said before, I'm, I'm first and foremost, I'm looking at the face. I don't look at the composition and all that stuff until I, I look at the face and the eyes. And do I connect with the eyes in that shoot? Are the eyes strong? Yes or no. And then I start looking at composition. Then I start looking at the finer details like hair um, and uh, I guess positioning and things of that nature. And how easy is it going to be to edit this photo, for example, right? Those are the things I look at after the fact. But I'm looking at the eyes first and foremost. So. If you're wondering where I'm looking, I'm, I'm literally looking right at her eyes. And if I, if I don't feel that connection, then it's just, it's a no-go for me. Her eyes are a little uneven in this shot, but I do like that shot. Um, okay, we're getting to a point where the computer's gonna have to buffer. Maybe, I don't know, there's something about that one. Not quite. No. No, 
not connecting with the eyes right here. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's out of focus. That one's just strong. I just like the ice squint there. That's good. Um, hmm. No. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Nice. That one's pretty cool. This one for me is just like, um, uh, yeah, I mean, I just, it, this, showcase, this showcases the makeup really well. Like, I love their, her hand positioning. I think that's fantastic. Uh, the composition is just really interesting because, like, the, the parasols on this side, um, while there's still a lot of open space here, it just kind of drew my eye immediately to that one. That one's, that one's awesome. Um, that was great. Okay, well, I, I can't, I'll come back to that one. That one might be a maybe. I was looking at that one for a little while. Another thing I didn't mention before is it's like you have to kind of trust your instincts. You know, when you like, when you're looking through your images and you kind of get stuck on an image and you can't explain why, you should definitely start that image. Uh, your subconscious is basically s saying that you like this, you can't explain it consciously, but your subconscious knows that that's you. You know, it embodies like the original idea that you had in that moment um, and it's capturing that specific moment. So definitely, uh, definitely encourage you guys to, um, to, to save those, man. Absolutely, definitely encourage you guys to save those. Okay, so we're gonna kinda just, yeah, for this one again, great makeup shot. I really like the hand positioning. Um, oh, that one's great too, yeah. Okay, well, that was the last image, nice. Okay, so we went from 619, let's see, where, so we went to, from 619 images down to 61. Uh, and there's definitely a handful of these in there that I selected just because I wasn't sure what we captured. So now we're gonna go, uh, we're, we're gonna go back into capture one. Uh, go over here in the ratings and I was using three star. So I'm gonna go from three star to four star to five star. And then I'm gonna export those out and then I'm gonna A and B them basically is what I'm gonna ultimately do. So I'm gonna go back through and we're gonna just look at these ones right now. And basically, if they're if if I still really like them, I'm gonna hit four instead of hitting number three on the keypad. So I don't think these are strong enough. Okay, something about the image I'm hit four on that one. And I'm just gonna kind of trust my instincts on this one, guys. Uh, honestly, if I keep on looking at that image, yeah, some things just tell me that hey, that's a good image, and then just leave it at that. So. Yeah, that one, absolutely. Um, the hair looks better than that one. That one's pretty strong too, to be fair. We'll, we'll compare those. I'd probably do that one. Okay, let's see. Probably do that one. Hmm. Yeah, I'll do the lip, okay. I would skip that one. Let's see what my options are here. Probably do that one, okay. Um, something about that one that's stronger. I don't know, she kind of scrunched down a little bit though, so she's not as long. I'll probably do that one as well. Yeah, definitely that one. Uh, do I want open eyes or closed eyes? Hmm. I'll do closed eyes. Yeah, that one just has a lot of punch. Do that one too. Mm hmm. That one. That one. Okay. So we went from 60 down to 20. We are getting close here. And then now what I do is I essentially, I look through each individual set 
Um, but since I don't really have that many images, may very well just kind of, no, I'll, I'll do one more round. I'll do one more round. And instead of hitting number four on the keyboard pad now, we're gonna hit number five and we're gonna go through one last round. I would do that one. Well, yeah, one of those two. I would do that one, that one. That one's okay. That one's okay. That one's pretty strong, yeah. That one's okay, I'm not really totally jumping at that one. Yeah, but she's like scrunched down a little bit. She doesn't look as flattering in that one, so I'll do that one. That one, that one. Yeah, let's still do those two. Okay, now for the fun part, we're down to 10 images. So we went from 620 down to 60, down to 20, now down to 10. So this is what I do in the final, the final section. And uh, I'm actually going to export these images as variants. And then we're gonna do 100% JPEGs and I'm going to essentially just put these uh, in my pictures library, my pictures folder on my desktop, and then we're gonna compare these uh, side by side. So we're gonna wait for these to export, and that's gonna take 30 seconds. Now once this is finished, I'm gonna break this into the final segment, and then we can, uh, we, can, we can narrow these bad boys down, and I'll show you the top images that I've selected from this. Now this is not perfect, may go back and, and kinda of look through and make sure I've double checked and I look through the nooks and crannies to make sure I haven't missed anything, but you know, ultimately you have to trust your gut, gut instinct, and um, once you just, you know, you, sh you shoot so much, uh, you, you just get to a point where you just know what you're looking for, even though you don't know what you've captured. <laughs> um, and it's, I know that sounds kinda of crazy, but, uh, yeah, you get to a point where you just kind of know what you're looking for. So, um, yes, I'm going to basically, uh, I will I will break this into another final segment right now and uh, we'll come back and we will, I'll kind of explain what I'm going to be doing in that final, that final segment. So we'll see you in the next video.